Good morning, I'm Diane Holmes, and I'd like to share with you Helen Steiner Rice. And it says, and the greatest of these is love, and it's poems and promises. And I'd like to read one of her poems that it's one of my favorites. Anywhere is a place of prayer, if God is there. I have prayed on my knees in the morning. I have prayed as I walked alone. I have prayed in the silence and darkness, and I prayed to the tune of a song. I have prayed in the midst of triumph, and I prayed when I suffered defeat. I have prayed on the sands of the seashore, where the waves of the ocean beat. I have prayed in a velvet hushed forest, where the quietness calmed my fears. I have prayed through sufferings and heartache, when my eyes were blinded with tears. I have prayed in churches and chapels, cathedrals and synagogues too. But often I've had the feeling my prayers were not getting through. And I realized then that our Father is not really concerned where we pray or impressed by our manner of worship or the eloquent, eloquent words we speak. He is only concerned with our feelings and he looks deep into our hearts. And here is the cry of our soul's deep need that no words could ever impact. So it isn't the prayer that's expressive or offered in the same special spot. It's a sincere plea of a sinner, and God can tell whether or not. We honestly seek his forgiveness and earnestly mean what we say. And then and then only he answers the prayer that we fervently pray. This is part of the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much from James 5:16. Thank you and have a blessed day.